Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. These are all of my modules right here. Well, this is what I call uh, Bay A. I have two bays now, but I'll show you the second bay later. But first you see the mixing, uh, the mixer up there, that's an art mixer. And then the second one is the Roland D110. Third one is the Emu Proteus 2000. Fourth one is the Emu Mofat. Fifth one is the Trinity, uh, which is the TR Rack Korg. Sixth one is the Korg SG Rack. Seventh one is the Korg O3RW. Eighth one is the Korg Wave Station SR. Ninth one is the Roland MDC-1 dance module. And the 10th one on the bottom, that is the Roland MBD-1 bass and drums. Plus, I also have the uh, Mark of the Unicorn, that's what they call Motu, uh, Express TX, and I have a power supply in the bottom, an ETA power supply, which is really cool. So, that powers this whole um, bay of modules right over here. Okay, so from there I go up here and I have a Motif rack, Yamaha Motif ES rack, which is really cool. I love that module. Right over here I have a Roland Groove Box, which is an MC303. To me, um, this one and the MC909 are the best ones. That's to me. Everybody might have their own opinion. But I love this, this groove box. It is sick. And I love the screen that it, ha that it has on there. And all the selection of voices and rhythms. It is very easy to work. Okay. Now, right over here, these two. I'm going to start with this one. This is is a gem right here. This is the Yamaha FM Expander, which is the Yamaha TX7, which is a Yamaha DX7 in a module. When I first saw this thing, I thought it was cheap. I'm like, oh, it's so cheap. I don't even want to plug it in or whatever. I just want to sell it. So I plugged it in. Oh my gosh, I think that thing sounds like a DX7. And everybody was uh, reviewing it. It is a DX7 in a module, which is really neat. And this over here, this is the editor, which is the Yamaha MC, MCS2. That's what it is. And this is just the editor, plus it has a pitch bend modulation wheel um, and data entry sliders, which is pretty cool. Okay, and then I have another bay right over here, which I'm going to fill up. This um, has more slots and everything, and there's some block um, slots right there. But I got another D110, Roland D110. And that is so cool. Over here, this is Yamaha TG55, which is the module version of the SY55. And down here, the Yamaha TX81Z, which is another FM module. I don't know if it's, it's supposed to be a slimmer, slim down version of the TX7. Uh, which is really neat. And they said that this is basically multi-timbral. Well, that's it. Since I have the O3RW, what's gonna be controlling everything as a controller is my O&W Pro X. And over here, that's my Yamaha Genos, Roland G70, Roland VA76 with the very phrase. What's covered up over here, this is my uh, Korg Kronos, and on the bottom here is my Roland Phantom X8. And I got more, many more keyboards and stuff. And here's my cat, Casio. Her name is Casio, just like the keyboard. And she's gonna go eat. But yes, those are my modules, everybody. So that's B Bay A, and this one is Bay B. Baby. <laughs> Bay A and Baby. <laughs>
Maybe I should call them just Module Center A and Module Center B. I don't know. You give it names. All right, everybody. I'll see you.